What's going on everybody? Welcome to Into My GT Entertainment and I am Joel. Well, you know, the previous video I had just made was about, you know, getting your car prepped and ready for Mustang week and traveling and whatever. Well, in the midst of that happening, let me show you what has occurred. Stand by one second. All right, everyone, if you can see what my voltage is sitting at in the car, and you'll just see it steadily start dropping now. On these Mustangs, they usually ride around 14 volts. Um, this one, I think the alternator is going. Uh, fresh start, as you see, the, the car's not even up to temperature yet, and I'm already down, you know, down to 12.2. I could give it a little gas, it'll jump it back up, but then, you know, as it idles back down, now we're down into the 11s and stuff like that. We hit 13, and uh, like I said, I think the alternator in this car is going now. So we have a brand new alternator. I'll show you that in a second, and let you and explain what the difference is in this one and the one that's in the car right now. So I just wanted to let you know that this is what the video is about today. In this box right here, I have the Boss 302 uh, alternator that is made for our year cars. Um, the difference is it's a higher amperage and it has what's called a one clutch system um, that's supposed to help with the belt not being able to slip. And the actual pulley itself is a, a smidge bigger so it almost acts like an underdrive pulley. So you're getting kind of a lot of benefits with it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that out and then I'm gonna show you what I need to do in the car. Okay, with this particular box that I got, I bought this from American Muscle, and it comes with a lot of stuff that um, if you had a factory set up that would probably be helpful and useful, but in my setup, the only thing I'm probably going to use is the alternator, but let me show you what it comes with. It comes with a extra pulley, oh, excuse me, a wheel, right there. For the serpentine belt comes with a bigger belt which i'm not going to be able to use because i have a whole different set comes with an upgraded tensioner so it's supposed to be a, a tighter tensioner for it so that's off. That's kind of nice. And the hardware that comes along with it. So for the uh, wheel and the tensioner itself. And then the alternator itself. Let me flip that around and let me show you what the difference is on that. Okay, and as you can see, this is a factory one from Ford. But the difference is it is a 200 amp alternator and it does have a bigger uh, wheel to it. And then it also has what is called a one clutch design, which is supposed to help from slipping and stuff like that. And it is also a higher revving alternator. So for people that do have superchargers or like to rev out their cars, this is definitely a little better for that. So uh, yeah, there we are. And another thing, it has the instructions online on how to do the install. Like I said, mine will vary, but all you have to do is hit up the code and it'll take you to the website and give you step-by-step -step to do it. But uh, we're probably gonna do it a little different, so that's why I'm not using this so much. Everybody, so the thing is, um, I'll have to get better lighting in here, but under there lies the alternator. You see what the thing is that you get the hose in the way. There's where the alternator lies in this car. So I'm probably going to have to take off the elbow just to clear up some stuff out of the room. And uh, there's three bolts that hold it in and plus where it goes to the battery. So first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the battery over there. And then go ahead and uh, get into this over here. So I'm not going to probably video every step while I'm doing it, but I'll stop and show you where I'm at and what I'm doing along the way. Okay, everyone. 
these are the tools that you're going to need to go ahead and undo the battery and take off your alternator. Um, it's a little different on my car. I'll let you know what that is. So for the battery itself to disconnect, you have an 8 millimeter socket to do that. And then to take off the power wire off the actual alternator, it is a 13 millimeter socket. And then to take the alternator off the car, it is a 15 millimeter socket. Then with mine, to take the belt off, if you have a factory tensioner, you would use probably a 50 millimeter socket and just to pull the tension back on it. With mine, I have the Whipple one, so I use a breaker bar because it has a slot for it in the actual um, tensioner to put that in there to lift it up but other than that let's get going all right everybody here are the two alternators side by side the new one and the old one so i'm going to go ahead and get that in the hole uh let me show you what i had to do to get this thing out all right well the first thing you had to do is disconnect your battery because you don't want to get shocked when you disconnect the alternator and the alternator sits down in that hole. Well, I started moving things around. You had to take off the center tube and stuff like that, the belt, obviously. Um, I kind of got that pushed out the way so I could get that out. Well, I had to take that hose right there off, which caused a great mess uh, to get the alternator out because it comes out through this hole right here. And of course, it fits pretty much in that hole. So, um, with further ado, I'm gonna to try to go ahead and put this back together now. All right, everybody, so now you can see I have her in there with a little maneuvering. Um, I did take off the bottom radio hose to make a mess because the Whipple stuff it gets all in the way. So this way made it a little easier. So I'm about to connect all the connections to it, get the belt back on it, and kind of put her back together. So I just wanted to show you that she's in there and we'll see where we are in a minute. All right, and as you can see, I got the power back up to it and the harness that sits under it is hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the power back up now, make sure there's no craziness before I get all this put back together. And I left my belt in the trunk and I have no power to get it out. So yeah, you know, it's one of those things. I guess I could have been cool and said, yeah, everything went great, but you know, that's what happened. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, get that done. All right, everybody. So now I got everything back together. I did give it a little run to make sure that everything was fine. I will show you what the voltage is here now in a second. I got the new belt on there. Make sure that nothing was leaking from taking everything apart. And make sure I got it up to temperature and, you know, just let it run. So it's all good. And uh, cleaning up my mess in the garage because, you know, I am messy Marvin today. So I had... This whole place was just full of antifreeze. So clean it all up now and uh, I'll show you what's going on in the car. As y'all can see now that I am now running at 14.2 volts where it was way lower before. So, and that's with uh, the normal driving as I had it before. Now, if I turn on my AC, had to drop a little bit, but it's still there so I think we got it guys let's look under the hood and make sure there's nothing going on as you can see she's running okay no leaks alternator's doing good belt's doing fine And this kit does bring a Boss 302 belt. Um, I don't know if they have a different way of routing it or it's just because the supercharger belt is a little longer because of how it gets routed, but that would not work for me at all. So uh, I got a new Boss 302 belt and it does say Boss 302 on it. So I guess I'll just put it away. Somebody may need it at some point or it might be what the factory's running. That's what Pam's got, so we'll go with that. All right, everyone, so that is the video for today. As you can see, I'm letting her sun dry a little bit, get some of the crap off of her. Uh, got some spare little parts, but you know, you're gonna have that. I just used 
the new stuff and the old stuff is sitting there plus they gave me some extra stuff that i didn't need which i'll hold on to because there's plenty of uh, s197s around here that uh may need some extra parts so i got them for them and uh with that being said video is done uh the car is running good now uh alternators fixed and jay is going to help me with something here before i go to mustang week and hopefully electro will be at 110 percent then so uh we'll stay tuned for that part but if you like this type of video just hit me up leave me a comment thumbs up of course and uh we'll do another one peace talk to you later